So if you have in mind that uh, we should have the digitization, we should improve the operational efficiency, we need to use the best of our sales engineers. There is skills to, to, say, to do sales, to do business with the customers and not to type orders, things that today even an automation can do this job. So hello and welcome to a new episode of B2B e-commerce integrated. My name is Arno and I'm the chief technology officer here at Sana. And yeah, we love to talk about B2B and B2B e-commerce. And I'm super happy that I have today Alozio. He is the global program manager at Snyder Electric. And uh, yeah, welcome Alozio. Welcome to the show. Hey Arno. Thank you very much for having me here. Wow, wow. So Alozio, um, we always start with, with, with uh, the introduction, of course. Can you please explain to our listeners more about your role uh, and your background? Of course. Uh, well, uh, I am an electrical engineer, also civil engineer, graduate and project manager. And uh, I'm now a candidate, a master in uh, digital marketing e-commerce. So I've been working uh, in a digital transformation since the, last, uh, the past seven years. And uh, I am Brazilian. Today, I'm living here in Barcelona, in Spain, uh, since the last year, uh, and leading the, the global self-service program at United Electric. So that's a little bit about me. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So the electrical engineering, and also now doing a master e-commerce. So you like technology, you like, you know, commerce as well, or everything on, the, on, that, uh, on that area of expertise. Actually, the same for me, personally. I have my background in computer science but also like the commercial uh, side of the business, right? So, wow. Hey, typically we have IT managers as, as guests in this, uh, in this podcast, but I'm very excited to have you in the show. Um, I, of course, you also have a technical background, but, um, and to, to hear and talk about B, your, your B2B e-commerce experience, right? So more also from a, from a commercial or from a, um, from a client perspective, right? Yep. So um, what makes the commercial processes you are working with very, uh, complex. Well, this is a good point. Uh, actually, I don't think the commercial process is a complex process. I think this is more a sensitive process. And because of the sensitivity of the process, make it a little bit complex. So uh, in a commercial process, there is a one point thing that we need to have to establish a good communication uh, with the customers, a good relationship. So we call this as a TCR. It's about to build with the customer trust and uh, have a relationship and have a credibility. So TCR, just change the order. So uh, this is uh, the primary thing we should have to start to be uh, uh, an advisor for our customers to recommend something to our customers. So this is what we want to do in this, we want to have in this commercial process. So uh, this is a very important thing that you need to have and to keep this with the customers is the challenge. This is the complexity of the, pro the, of the process. So um, once we have, uh, what we need to avoid actually to break uh, this, this, uh, this basis that we have, should have with the customers in this commercial process, that's the challenge, that's the complexity uh, of the, the process. And, uh, and here is a very sensitive process because uh, we, we cannot lose the customer, the trust. We cannot lose our credibility and we cannot lose our relationship with the customers. And how we can lose that by having some process that takes too much effort for the customers, having uh, errors in the process and uh, having a long waiting time for customers in the process. So that that the things that make it complex if you don't look after this. Mm -hmm. No, understood. So yeah, trust, uh, relationship, and credibility. So um, yeah, maybe uh, can you give some examples on on when you are losing trust or some samples on situations that put the end that you can lose trust or that you can lose credibility or can you know harm the relationship? Uh, well, this is something that uh, usually happen. Uh, in this commercial process, once you kind of you 
say to your customers, hey, uh, you here you have your order and you're going to receive this order in the next week, for example, and you don't deliver in the next week and you don't give any feedback to your customer saying, hey, next week will not be possible. We'll have to postpone your order. Or when you have to book an order from a customer, for example, and you make mistakes and you put less quantity or more quantity and you start a problem for customers to return and etc. So this is, these are the points that are very sensitive and uh, we need to be careful at the stage and keep uh, our customers uh, under the lights, being transparent with the customers. So that's a, a point to, to be careful. Yeah, no, that, 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 is, that is definitely, I think, harming, of course, uh, a relationship in these situations. Looking at your experience, you have seven years, uh, you're already for seven years in the business of, let's say, digital transformation. So bringing yes. uh, complex B2B or B2B from physical to digital, huh? right, if I understood it correctly. So have you seen this trust, relationship, credibility? Has it always been there or was it? Did it change? Was it becoming more or less? What, 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 is, your, what is your observation there? Well, uh, this is something that uh, I think most of the business are seeking this, right? Uh, for when you have, uh, when you want to, to sell our products for our customers, this is the foundation for this. But uh, uh, what we need to do uh, for this is to avoid this kind of things, uh, of mistakes happen and break this, uh, this foundation right so uh, more and more it has been increasing we need to increase this trust this transparency with the customers and uh, this relationship uh, even more and more so some people believe that the the digitization sometimes will make will be more code in our relationship with the customers but this is not the concept. This is not the, the, the idea. In the end of the day, this, is, this comes to kind of uh, uh, straight the connection with the customers by being more transparent with the customers, by avoiding mistakes and, uh, and uh, make our relationship even stronger. Mm -hmm. No, understood. And, and if you want to, um, of course, hey, you have seven years of experience. If you want to head digitize it, so how can, in your opinion, automation help with um, you know, building the trust, relationship, credibility, or actually drive commercial efficiency? Um, and so what, what are the processes then that you have to automate or to make the life of the customer um, or even sales rep easier? So it's maybe three questions in one, but relate the, the jump from um, this TCR to, uh, to, to technology. Yes, uh, the digitization comes to, to close this gap, actually. Mm -hmm. So uh, what we have when we, when we have the customers on board in this digitized, uh, in this digitization, let's say, uh, we, we have this, we avoid these mistakes. So when a customer is kind of a booking an order, we, have, uh, we are avoiding mistakes. We have a customers just having what they ask for. We have we create this transparency where the customer can check the status of orders. They can check uh, uh, the products they have uh, in their favorite uh, products or what are the status they, the product has, if it's going to an end of life or if this product is still available for them. And uh, we created this, this environment with the transparency and uh, with the customers uh, close to, to our business, inside of our business. For the sales representative standpoint, uh, we have some benefits, of course, uh, especially when we're talking about an operation efficiency. So we don't have our uh, sales force spending time on some uh, low value tasks. For example, do quotations and, uh, and uh, book orders. So this is something that I have seen uh, in my experience I read an article from a company, uh, a B2B e-commerce company, and they said that uh, usually a person spend uh, 30 seconds, 30 seconds to, to type one line, to book one line of an order. 
maybe this is overestimated, but if you're thinking about uh, several orders from several customers and you have, and you have to type the customer address and you have to type the customer uh, details and etc., so it makes sense. So if you spend 30 seconds, that means you spend um, uh, 100, one, for 120 lines, you spend an hour. If you're thinking about a team with 50 sales engineers, for example, so then uh, you have 25% of their time for doing those low value tasks. And 25% uh, of this, you're saying that we have a 12 sales rep, let's say, doing this low, low task value, right? So low value task, I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. So uh, with this, so if you have in mind that uh, we should have the digitization, we should improve the operational efficiency, this is key because uh, we need to use the best of our sales engineers. We need to use uh, the, for, what, for the reason that why skill it, so there is skills to, to, say, to do sale, to do business with the customers and not to type orders, things that today even an automation can do this job. Even uh, you can use RPAs, for example, or you can use uh, order process that can do this kind of thing. So uh, this is very important and relevant for the operational efficiency. Mm -hmm.